I don't even know. I fell out of love with nursing. Hey guys, it's Precious here, and you're watching Divine Duo. back with another RN school update. It's been so long and I am so sorry, but I have gone through some trials and tribula tribulations. I've gone through it all to the point where I started second guessing whether or not I want to even be an RN. Okay, at that, it, it got to that point. But nonetheless, I'm here to share my experience with you guys. So if you're interested in knowing how hard <laughs> our at school really is. Stay tuned. Cause when it was her video, okay, I sat down quietly. Okay. Now it's my video, she want a bunch of crunch. Come on now. Alright. Go out. They gonna find out. We gonna find out. Last update I think I spoke, I did I think I did a QA and I also spoke about how I'm in my fifth term, fifth and last term, and I was getting ready for the exit exams. So, exit exams came around the corner. Get me there. I felt as though I knew it was gonna be difficult. I studied with all the material that they had given me. And going into the exit exam, I didn't know what to expect, honestly. You get four tri trials. I'm like, okay, the first trial, let me just go in and see what it's kind of like. Went in, took my test. It was pretty easy. I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't too hard, it wasn't too bad. Came out feeling a bit confident, but was just hoping for a score closer to what we needed to pass, which was 925. And I found out I did not pass. A lot of people didn't pass though. I think out of 35 of us, only about six of us passed. So, you know, I brushed the dust off, got back to studying. This time around, they're like, you know, focus on you world. You world, I absolutely love it. It came from our tuition, so basically we didn't have to pay for it over again. It just, you know, they signed us up and we were ready to, to use you, U World. And I loved it. I used to study every single day about one exam in the morning, 75 questions, one exam at night, 75 questions, and then in between I'll do like practice questions and whatnot, little, you know, 25 question exams and stuff like that. But I'm in love with it. And I even booked a trip, the second exam, because I really felt as though like, I had really put my own to studying and I felt so confident. So um, I'm on the beaches of Aruba, <laughs> got my call, and the lady sadly told me that I did not pass and I failed by 10 points. When I say I was the saddest looking girl on the beach, I literally cried, cried, cried. Good thing I had shades because of course it's the beach. But I, I literally, I, I broke down crying. I could not believe it. It didn't destroy the rest of my vacation though because I paid good money for that trip. But I, I, I literally broke down crying. Um, Princess was trying to console me, people were trying to console me and I just could not help it because you know when you set your mind for greatness and you set your mind for you know what you expect to see and that may not be the outcome, I literally, ju I, I just broke down. So after finding that out, a few of my friends had passed, but once again, half of the class didn't pass that second exam. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm only 10 points away. Let me revamp this. Let me do something a little bit different so that I can see the outcome, outcome that I wanna see. So the third time around, as you guys know, we're moving into our new apartment. We have a lot of things going on and I'm, Feeling a bit overwhelmed, but I'm not letting that stop me from what my, you know, my eyes are still in the prize. I'm looking forward to passing my exam and enjoying this new apartment that I just moved into. So, moving to my new apartment, and things had changed this time, guys. I really, you know, I buckled down. Let me tell you what I did differently. I sat down every morning, came outside 8 a.m. every morning, did my uh, assignments because they were giving us assignments that we needed to do. I did my assignments. I would do a hundred, about 150 questions a day. You can even ask my sister. She would come out and be like, okay, you're doing your thing, girl. Yes, I did. Yes, she did. So, you know, went in, took my exam, and um, I'm not gonna lie, that exam was a little bit hard. It was a little harder than the than the last because that one was a HESI exam. And in Jersey College, they can give you either a Jersey College exam, a HESI exam, or ATI exam. It's whatever they choose. 
So that one happened to be a HESI exam. I wasn't prepared for it, but went in there, did my thing, and I walked out feeling like really confident. All the confidence that I needed to come back in me, it came back in me, 10 times full. So I walked out that exam like, yeah, I definitely got this. The next day I woke up, they called me bright and early about 8.30. They didn't even get the crust on my eyes, all right? And all I heard was, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to come back and take the exam. When I say I broke down crying worse than I did in Aruba, all right? In my own bedroom, I cried my eyes out to the point where I feel like I really got dehydrated. <laughs> like, to the point where I had no more tears to cry. And let me tell you how much schools do not really care about you. They don't care because as I'm crying because I cannot control it, she's trying to explain to me what my grade was and what so and so forth. I'm not trying to hear that at the moment. And she's just like, well, do you want me to call you back when you're ready to listen? I'm like, I said yes, thank you, real quick. Because I was just so upset and I was just, I just, I didn't know how to feel. I really did not know how to feel. I was completely shocked and I didn't know what went wrong and I didn't know what to do to fix it. At this point, I'm surrounded by a huge fog. I don't know what to do. And that's when I started thinking like, is, is nursing even really for me? Like, is that something that I want to pursue? That's how depleted I was of all type of um, encouragement and confidence in myself. I lost it all. Like, I literally, I don't even know. I fell out of love with nursing. At this time, we have another four weeks to take another exam, which is our last and final exam. People that don't, if you guys don't know me, I have bad anxiety. And putting a predicament like that can really make me like, lose control to the point where I cannot control my anxiety because I'm just so scared. There's no other option. It's, it's a pass or fail situation. And if I would have failed, I would have had to go on back three whole um, semesters. That would have been another nine months of schooling. So we got a counselor, he's helping us out, and he really did help us out in a big way. He, he, he went over our scores with us separately and told us the areas that we needed to focus on were our problem areas. He didn't want us to do exams anymore that, that involved every subject because he says you're just doing those type of exams to make yourself feel good. Those are the, 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 the subjects that are gonna bring a grade up, but do you need work on it? No. After focusing on those areas, I started to see my grade go up. I started to feel good, but I still kept thinking and playing in my head, what if I get that call again that says, you have to come back to the school. I'm being told that you failed an exam three times can really break down a person's um, confidence level, and it, and it did that to me. There was this one time when me and my sister were literally sitting down, I think it was like a week before my exam, and I literally broke down and cried. Like, I literally broke down and cried, and I told her, I'm like, yo, because I feel like I just, I'm still, I was telling her, I'm like, yo, I'm still in this forward. I don't know, I don't know what to expect during this exam. And, and, and here I am thinking, like, a week before my exam, I should be a little bit confident. But I was confident three times, and I failed three times. So it's kind of like, you know, I didn't rely on whatever I was feeling anymore. I really did. So she spoke to me and she just gave me good tips on like, we're teachers, we're people that like to teach people. If you have to sit down and, and, and take each question at a time and act like you're teaching somebody it in order to get the right answer, you're gonna have to do that. Take that time to do that. Take that time to um, breathe. If you need to breathe, if your anxiety is starting to act up, because I already knew at the fourth exam, fourth try, my anxiety was gonna be in 100. So she's like, you need to work on your anxiety during the test as well, because those are the problem areas. You know this stuff. You just, your confidence level, confidence level is not there. Mark climbing. I call that man my MC. I told you. Oh, it's MK, right? Okay, it's MK. Princess gave me all her recordings from Mark Connick because she said that he was so helpful. I don't know if you guys watched her last video about how she passed the ATIs, but I'll leave that up here in this card. 
If you feel like you don't know enough information, it's not about knowing the information. It's about strategy and, and critical thinking. All about, that's what, that's what nursing is all about. You have to think strategically and prioritize as, like a nurse would. And that's what Mark Climate helps you to understand. He also groups different um, diseases and um, electrolyte imbalances into groups so that you don't feel like you're memorizing a whole book of information. He's just kind of condensing it so that that way if you think about one disease, okay, you can remember a hundred different ones. It doesn't hurt to listen to his, his recordings. Listen to one a day. And I, I swear his recordings just kind of brought me back confidence and made me feel like when I sat down, I can group these questions into you know certain categories and I can answer it you know accordingly. So after speaking with her, I felt the need to speak to my mother. And my mother is, you know, all about faith. My mom's very spiritual and she's all about faith and she really just brought me back. She told me that I needed to fast and pray and that I need to put all of my faith into God and let him, you know, let him carry my burden because I was at the point where I was depleted. I couldn't do it for myself anymore. So I literally fasted until I had gotten my results. That was supposed to be his calling for me. And I, I did just that. I fasted, I prayed, I fasted, I prayed. So I went in, I took the exam, exam, came out, not really worried about anything, just because, like I said, my faith was in him, so I didn't really worry about anything. And then um, I'm thinking I'm gonna get the exam, the results the very next day. The very next day, no one called me. It was Friday morning, <laughs> nine o'clock to be exact, and I received my call. I see the school's name on my phone. I took a deep breath in, a deep breath out, and I answered the phone, I said, hello. She said, hello, yeah, is this who and who? I said, get to the point, all right? <laughs> get to the point, we've been through this three times already, sis, come on now. And she's like, yes, I just wanna let you know that you passed. Yay! I say, that was the happiest time of my life. I think I woke the whole building up. I sure did. I was so ecstatic. I was so happy and I was so in disbelief. Like, it's still, when I think about it, it's like the best moment of my life. She's like, you passed. And not only did you pass, she's like, you excelled in the 1000s. Like, I over exceeded. What? I still can't believe it to this day. And, you know, she's trying to run through my scores with me. I said, listen, lady, you said everything that I needed to hear. I got to call some people and let them know the good news, all right? Bye-bye. Boop. And I call my mom right away. I'm like, yo, I passed. I passed. I passed. I passed. She's like, anything that you ask of him, he will not feel you. And I, 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 I swear to God, this whole experience has really uplifted my, my um, faith. 100% because I was always a person that goes to church. I was always a person that prays, you know, when need be. But when you see miracles happen like that, and it's a miracle, I'm telling you, it's a miracle because it's not all, like what's for me is going to be for me. And I, I think that it was, it was his divine purpose to make me pass on this fourth try so that I can bring myself closer to him during the process. And that's what this whole process has done for me. Um, so yeah, I passed finally. I couldn't talk to y'all about it or anything like that until you know I actually, you know, passed. So yes, I passed. It's never too hard. It's never too hard. You just have to regroup and do something different. You're never alone in this, okay? You always have someone that's there to help you, but use your resources. Don't just give up on yourself. And that's what I almost did. I almost gave up on myself. And once you give up on yourself, it's over. Because if nobody's fighting for you, if you're not even fighting for you, who's gonna fight for you? You know what I mean? So yeah, this, this nursing process is hard, but it's doable. And I just wanna be here for somebody that needs to hear that word of encouragement. Keep going and don't stop. If I have to be that encouragement for you, hit me up, you know where you can find me, all right? Don't, don't feel like you're in this alone. There's a lot of people that go and struggle through this. And I, I was a person that was getting A's and B's in my class. I never thought that I would be in the fourth I mean, in my last term, struggling with an exit exam. 
You know what I mean? But like I said, your timing is your timing. It doesn't mean you're dumber. It doesn't mean that you don't know the information. It doesn't mean any of that thing, that stuff. You could have test anxiety. You know what I mean? You could really be going through a lot at the moment. You can have a lot on your plate at the moment. But if you feel like nursing is for you, never, never cause yourself to, never, never doubt what you want to do in life. Because, like I said, what's meant for you is meant for you. So guys, with that being said, that brings me to the end of this video. Yes, I failed three times and... And I passed. And now I'm an RN graduate. And so will you. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you want to join the PP party, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video.